Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection Action Figure Review. We're looking at seven figures. It is, they're all the same, basically. Um, this is the Figure and Dan and the Modal Nodes Hasbro Pulse Exclusive box set. I uh, did pick this up. This came in the mail about a week, a week ago. Um, yeah, you can sort of see. Nice plastic free packaging. It's quite simply put together. There's nothing too exciting about it. You know, sort of a nice just sort of line art graphic on the top. Um, just came in a basic shipper box and then inside all the figures were packed in these tissue bags and the accessories. Um, yes, yeah, so there's not a lot to say about the packaging. I do like the art on the box though, I think that's cool. Um, see we've got all seven members. Which is cool, obviously figuring down there. And then the rest, you know, you, like I said, they're all the same figure. Um, so yeah, there's no telling them apart. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the figures. So let's just zoom in here. Yes, I do have Ponda Barber and Dr. Evazan here. Break dancing. <laughs> That's what they do. They uh, they were having a party until a grumpy old man and his, you know, his adopted little blonde haired boy came and started bothering them. So. This is the figures. Let's let's check them out. Now I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to get this pack because um, I never did get the single card of figure and Dan uh, figure, which came with the three accessories. And it was that point. It was like, oh, you're gonna have to buy this seven times, and maybe they'll do what they did in the Black Series and they'll put another one out on a deluxe card or in a box with the rest of the instruments. And you got to buy multiples of those. Not to be the case. Um, which I'm glad about. I'm glad they went down this route. I wish it was more globally, you know, able to, able to get a hold of it, you know. <laughs> I did have to pay a little bit more than normal for these figures. Um, just because, you know, that's the only way to do it is for someone to get it through Hasbro Pulse. And Australia is and New Zealand are not yet recognised as Hasbro Pulse worthy uh, countries. So hopefully that will change in, in the years to come. But, um... For now, it's just about having to pay that extra little bit on, on you know, eBay. Um, and there are sellers out there that, that do get these in. Um, but yeah, they, they are marked up quite a lot. But to get them, you've got to pay it. Sometimes you've just got to bite the bullet. That's how collecting is down here in Australia. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd argue for other countries as well, uh, such as New Zealand. They, they also have a bit of a hard time getting a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think... Just, I don't want to be used to it, but we are used to it. But nevertheless, I'm going to take a look at all these figures. All right, so we'll look here at Figure and Dan to kick off. Now, again, these figures don't have any difference to the single carded version, and there's no difference between them, no extra hands, no change of hands, nothing like that. Just the different instruments. Um, this one is... Packed twice because there are two band members that play the clue horn. So yeah, this is uh this is the one I'm calling Figure and Dan. He is the front man. He is the uh, the Axel Rose, <laughs> I guess. No, Figure and Dan's much more talented. But yeah, the uh, the mold on the figure is really nice. The colours are fantastic on the uh, on the head sculpt there. The nice sort of shine to the black eyes. Articulation all around is excellent. Does have the uh, ball jointed head. I don't think there's neck articulation. No, there's just the double barbell in the head and neck. Uh, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, ball hinge wrists, uh, upper torso joint there. Uh, ball hinge in the thighs. Swivel cut at the top of the thigh there. A joint in the knee and Ankle articulation with the rocker joint as well, or is it? No, it's not a rocker joint. It's a swivel, swivel on the top of the foot, and then a hinge up and down. So yeah, the joints up in the uh, up in the leg there. So, which I honestly prefer sometimes. Sometimes the rocker's good, depending depending on the uh, figure and the character. But um, yeah, that one's a good one. So yeah, there is his clue horn. So next up we have Techmore. 
This is his name is Techmore. I'm referring to my visual dictionary from the mid 90s. <laughs> um, it's only displaying five members of the band, so I'm going to go through the ones I know. Um, I, I could use Wikipedia, but uh, yeah, I do have a book on hand, so it's just a little bit easier to spread the page open. So here we have what is known as the Omnibox. No, this is the wrong one. This isn't Techmore, sorry. Techmore's the guy sitting down. This guy is absent from the book. So we're gonna call him Steve. Uh, <laughs> I, will, I will endeavor to figure out his correct name. I apologize for any confusion. Yeah, this guy isn't pictured in this book. Where is it on the next page? No. It just has the five members. But yeah, he comes with the two. It's almost like a, a xylophone on a stand. You imagine just... I don't know. Yeah, no, that's cool. We did get that in the Black Series as well. And yeah, the two sort of drumsticks so that's cool this is Techmore and this is the Omnibox I got it right eventually guys so I apologize for that maybe a little bit spe specious to say that they all look the same but <laughs> they really do but this is cool, I like this one, I like the seat. Got his little foot pedals. It's almost, uh, I don't know, like a synth theremin kind of looking thing. Some foot pedals. And so it looks like a little hover scooter. You, I don't know. <laughs> but this is cool. I like this guy a lot. I think, uh, you know, being able to pose these guys up all different gives them a real sense of character. I think it looks really good. So it's the clip-on bit in the bottom. This already comes pre-assembled, so there's no extra additional stuff you need to do to it. You just pop him on the chair. I did put a little bit of blue tack under his feet just so they stay in position there, and that seems to work okay. But he's a cool one too. So he is Techmore. All right, now this one. This is Doik. Doik Nats. <laughs> oh, it's a strange name, but it's it works. It's fine. Doik. D O I double K. Last name Nats. N A T S. So he is playing the Fizz, or otherwise known as. The Do Doremian Beshnikel. Doremian Beshnikel. Sounds very exotic. Fizz is a lot easier to say. Yeah, he holds that well. Again, having that sort of elbow articulation, the wrist, I mean, you can have him sort of holding it a little bit low. If I tweak it a little bit, and get his mouth over it. And he keeps falling down. So they all do have the little pinhole in the mouth. And uh, yeah, um, that's that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so yeah, nice to have all these instruments together. Next up we have Nayland Chill. This is the one that was packaged in the Black Series as Nayland Chill. He was the one that came with the extra accessories like the Omnibox and, and this one. So we're getting him with this accessory this time. A little bit different to the Power of the Force version or the previous release. I got the one in the tin, the five pack Cantina band in the tin um, back in the day. But this one works reasonably well. So it just hangs over the neck. Now the instrument he is playing is called the band fill. So on the side they are apparently reciprocator horns. 
that on the front, the silver disc, is called the Plung Sounder. There is a power indicator there somewhere. But yeah, very interesting looking device. I know these things were sort of just slapped together by prop makers and, and <laughs> all sorts of random stuff, but it's all good. So again, these, these figures are really cool. All right, so technically I last remember this one the other clue horn player. So he is aside. Now this one is Tedden Tedden de High. T E D N D apostrophe H A I Tedden de High. And he is playing the fanfare, which is like a small wind instrument. And he's sort of holding his hands up. Got a little bit of jazz jazz going on. And there's technically the music is Unfortunately, known as jizz music, which is a, uh, you know, whose idea that was. That was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a strange one, but we'll go with it. <laughs> so my job after this video is to research the other names of the other two members, commit them to memory, for at least the next twenty-four hours. <laughs> There is so much Star Wars happening these days, it's so hard to commit everything to memory. It really is. But there we have Figrin Dan and his modal nodes. Fantastic group of figures. Really happy to have these in, in the collection. Because they were, yeah, otherwise going to be very difficult to obtain. So it's nice to have them. And being a loose collector, I'm more than happy to take them out of the box and get them to stand up a little bit better. That'd be great too, wouldn't it? And then we'll put Dan back up the front there in the Bith. Bith Jizz Band. The greatest bit this band in the galaxy. Figure it down in the modal nodes. Thank you very much for watching. Please send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you again for some more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you. Always.